shocking that before Lady Bird was Lady Bird. Well, I was still Lady Bird before I came to Japan. Before I came to Japan. Before I came to Japan, I was watching Gimme a Flake Man's channel as part of my Japan research. So, uh, Gimme a Flake Man? Good to see you, sir. If you want to give me a flake man, you can become like Lady Bird. That's right, that's the key. That was the secret. It was all about the flake. Over the edge. The given flake. That was good. That was what I did it. Yeah, bro. Hello there, morons. It's Victor and. Welcome to a. This is gonna. Kimmy, this is a laundry video. You know what that is? Really? Sabir. Yeah. <laughs> Just a talking video. Basically, it's a visual po podcast. These are the visuals. Please enjoy. Okay? <laughs> now, you don't have to watch the video. You can just listen. But today, we're going to be talking about, as you can tell of the title, what do we call this? Racism in Sumo? Mm. Haruma Fuji's uh, Haruma scandal? Mm. Or the Hakuho scandal? Whose scandal is it? Haru the Mongolian. 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 Haruma Fuji, Haruma Fuji scandal? Mm. Okay. So, we're going to give you a little background. It's just, even if you're not interested in sumo, which I'm not especially interested in sumo, are you? Me too. Yeah, we're, neither me of either. us, me either. Neither of us are really interested in sumo. However, this is a very interesting uh, new Japanese, uh, I guess, Culture. scandal. scandal. Yeah, and it will shed, cult shed light on the culture of Japan. Mm. But I want to back up a little bit so we, by giving you a little information. Mm. Okay? Mm. That even, even Kiwi doesn't know some of this. But she taught me a lot today talk, pre in preparing to this video. So sen sen senpai, sensei. Senpai. Um, in 2010, February 4th, 2010, uh, one of Japan's uh, most Yokozuna. powerful yokozunas, which is grandmaster, the highest level attainable by yokozuna, mm -hmm. it's like the belt, black belt of yokozunas uh, levels uh, of, of, of sumo. Excuse me. He's called a yokozuna, mm -hmm. and he his name was Asashoryu. Asashoryu. Right? Asashoryu. Okay, and he's Mongolian. Mm -hmm. Now. Uh, there have been foreigners in Japan, uh, in Japan sumo, for years, for over 26 years, mm, ever since I've been here. The one of the first ones was, was uh, Konishiki. Mm, well, one of the first, one of the ah. first, but well, they've been around for a while. But one of the first ones, one of the most famous is the most, is the, also the heaviest in the world, Konishiki, who never attained a uh, level of Yokozuna. He never became a Yokozuna. He became Ozaki. Yes. Oh. And at the time, um, some people saw, thought it was because of racism. And there was a very interesting sca mini scandal. You probably don't remember because you were before you were born, Kimmy. Yeah. But many, many years ago, um, there was a the New York Times called Konishiki mm -hmm. at his house. Uh, I don't know where it was, but maybe I think I, th I want to say it was Hawaii. But, Hawaii, Hawaii. And apparently, he, he answered the phone and he said, I'm not Yokozuna because I'm a foreigner, foreigner. and Japanese are racist. Right. Mm. Later, he claims it wasn't me who answered the phone. It was another guy. So, yes. so we don't know. But anyway, he took it back. Long story short, he took it back. Mm. That's one of the first scandals. However, soon after that, Akebono, mm, Akebono. who I've met quite a, I met quite a few times. He used to go to the gym where I used to work out. We used to bench uh, together. No, no, but we, no, no. But we used to go to the same gym. Yeah, Monto. yeah. He had he had knee damage. And just up the up, up this road here, Orange Town, he used to go there uh, and work out. And he dated my ex girlfriend. He broke her heart. Yeah. She was a hostess girl. Yeah. We only dated for a short time. We were still good friends. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> long long time ago. You don't know this, right? He is a huge guy. Now you see those guys on TV and you think they're big, right? But until you're next to one, like standing next, have you ever st stood next to one? They are huge. They're like eight cubies wide. You know, they're so big. I mean, just the girth. The good one, muna, muna? Oh, Munaita. Munaita, yes, Munaita. Munaita, munaita the girth, I guess, the, 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 the depth of the, of the body is just amazing. They're so huge. Mm. Uh, and, this guy, and this guy was on top of, on, uh, tall on top of it. And he had kind of weak knees. He had some problems. Um, anyway, he became a Yokozuna and he was a foreigner. Mm. So that proved the whole, you know, you know, foreigners can never become Yokozuna bullshit. They oh. proved that wrong. Because it's wrong. Mm. Then after that, Musashi Maru so then. became the second, I think. Mm. And after that, uh, that pretty much the only Hawaiians after that, so right? Mm. They, might, they were some other ones maybe, but the big ones, the big Yokozunas after that were Mongolians. Mm -hmm. Now, about, I don't remember when, but about, uh, let's say, 10 years ago or so, mm -hmm. um, one stable, oh, let me, let, me, uh, organ, let me explain the sumo league, okay? Right. In sumo, you don't have teams, you have stables, which are basically groups of sumo wrestlers that practice and play together. And they also fight against each other at tournaments. Every there's about five tournaments a year. I think two or two are in Tokyo, and each tournament has about 15 bouts. Not about, but I'm pretty sure it's 15 bouts. And I could be wrong on a few of these details. Uh, like I told you, it's been a while since I okay. cared. Yeah, about. So this, I think there are 15 bouts per um, tournament, and and there are stables all over Japan where people practice 
and they, they get in these groups. But anyway, um, about, let's say 10 years ago or so, a while ago, many years ago, one stable tried importing six Mongolians at mm, once. Mm, mm. And it was at that point that the Sumo Association said, okay, dame, dame. that's enough. That's enough. Um, um, yeah, so, they, so at that point they said, no, that's enough. And they made it a rule that uh, you can only have one foreigner in your stable. Now, I don't know how many people are in a stable at all. Do you know? I have no idea, but I assume it's something like 15, maybe. maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many people. If, if you know, it depends on the heya. Uh, a heya is a stable, right? Mm -hmm. So sumo beya is a sumo stable. And the oyakata is the grant, is the, uh, what master. master. Stable master, that was it. I just told you a few minutes ago. The stable master, very good. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot the, the, the lesson I just taught. Um, anyway. The, um, yeah, so there, every staple is a little bit different, but you can only have one. And here's the funny thing. If that foreign sumo wrestler naturalizes, mm, kika and, ne. yeah, kika, mm -hmm. become, becomes kika, is kika suru, to become naturalized, he becomes, uh, and sometimes uses an insult, Yukari told me. Oh. He's only naturalized, but anyway, well, I don't know the details about that, so I haven't made a video yet, but to become naturalized is kika. Uh, if that sumo wrestler, foreign sumo wrestler, naturalizes to Japanese, then that stable can accept another foreigner. Mm, mm. So, it's, so Japanese citizenship is a big deal here. Mm. Another, another important point is that if you retire from the sumo world mm. and you'd like to open up your own stable, mm. you have to be, be a Japanese citizen. How do you say Japanese citizen in... You need, you need Nihon Kokuseki. Right. right. What's your nationality? So you need nation, uh, uh, Japanese nationality. Mm. Anyway, um, that's important, mm. right? Um, and that's one thing that Haruma Fuji does not have. Mm. He's, cool. a, he's among. He remains a Mongolian. Now let's go to the Haruma Fuji scandal, which began this year on October twenty fifth. Now I don't know the exact details, and this is what everyone. Nobody knows the exact details, right? So many different uh, stories about this, mm. right? You want to tell the story? いいの日本語で言うあんとだからまあ、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、
right? So then they betrayed him, Uragita. So so, they said that, right? And told Hakuho. Hakuho, they said. Hakuho, who's the presently the top amazing sumo wrestler now. And when Asashoryu, who retired、uh, eight years ago, when he retired, Asash,、uh, Asashoryu retired. Hakuho was just coming up. So 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 so. Was just one of the. Was just, now he's incredibly strong. Super strong. He has won. He's broken all the records. He's won over 1,050 bouts.、Uh, in July, he broke the record as 1,048 or 49.、Oh. Now he's even won more. I don't know how many. And he's won his 40th tournament, which is a record. So he is easily the most powerful. Hmm. Then, so, so saying that his gen- his his time is over, and you guys are all dinosaurs. It's now our time. Dinosaur. <laughs> Is, so he got, he got angry and he beat the shit out of him. Well, well, anyway, so then the police were called, right? And it was reported to the police, and the police took statements from everybody, but the public has only heard from Haruma Fuji and,、mm-hmm. right? and Hakuho.、Mm-hmm. But they didn't, they have not heard from Takano Iwa. Takano Iwa has only spoken to the police, so it's still a mystery as to what actually happened.、Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway, as a result, the Sumo Association got together. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, as a result,、uh, this was October 25th, and then the Fukuoka Kyushu tournament Kyushu was,、mm. uh, was, well, it was like three weeks ago, I guess. Yeah, three weeks ago. So, so, so. so, so, so. Well, that, well, he won last week. So, was,、ah, so, yeah. so, so, so. so three weeks ago,、mm-hmm. it started, and Haruma Fuji dropped out after two or three bouts、mm-hmm. mm-hmm. when the scandal broke. He said, well,、mm-hmm. no? So, no, mine. Before the scandal broke.、Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Okay. So, he broke, he, and then the scandal broke. Okay.、Um, So he's out of it. And... No, 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 Haruma Fuji. He didn't? I think he was in two or three. I think he retired after this candle. So, I'm sorry. So, yeah, he sent the other guy to the hospital. The guy with the broken head, Takano Iwa, he went to the hospital. He was like, beat the, he, he got the shit kicked out of him, right? Haruma Fuji, I think, dropped out after two or three. Again, these details are not, the, not really the point, right? So, so, so. Okay. We don't, like, we don't follow. So no. But this is like all over the news every single day. So you can't avoid it. Everyone's sick of it. Right, so, oh yeah, so the judge, so the, so the, so the, hold on. So the Sumo Council said, we don't know what happened, but we're, we're going to have to deal with Haruma Fuji very severely. There's going to be a severe punishment for Haruma Fuji. Nobody knows what it's, it's going to be. But we'll, yeah, we'll announce it after the Kyushu Basho is over. So it won't interfere, right?、Mm-hmm. Okay, then we had some really weird shit happening with Hakuho,、mm-hmm. which has never happened before. And the reason I'm mentioning this is because I'm a foreigner. Mm. And everyone's in Japan is racist against foreigners, people think <laughs> on the internet, right? So we want to clear this up to show you some things that, although racism, of course, does exist in every country in the world,、uh, it's not clear cut, and there are certain things that happen that we have to pay attention to. One of them is is this the one? No.、Uh, one of them is the fact that for the first time in history,、uh, The judge. Oh, well, actually, let's talk about, let's talk about what Kibi said. Kibi said that this is not a simple case of A against B. It's a sim- three, three different, three different、um, mm-hmm. faction, three different rivalries or, or, or、uh, antagonistic relationships happening、mm-hmm. here. One of them is、Mongolian. Mongolians versus Japanese. Maybe. Maybe.、Mm-hmm. Maybe. Maybe. We didn't say it. Right? That's number one. Number two is Takanohana versus, versus Hakuho. Hakuho. Maybe. Now, who's Takanohana? You're, you're thinking, who the hell is that guy? It's a new guy, right? Takanohana was a Yokozuna、uh, back 25 years ago or so. Okay? When I first came to Japan, he was just coming up. I remember one of the first sumo matches I ever saw was Takanohana beating Chiyono Fuji. So, 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 so. And Chiyono Fuji, who you, may, you don't know probably, was a god amongst sumo wrestlers.、Mm-hmm. He was beautiful, a beautiful mm-hmm. man. Mm-hmm. He was the wolf. wolf. Nickname. Nickname was the wolf.、Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, he was so cool. And they had sto- like, stories about him, like if you put a needle in his, in his muscles and he flexed, he could break the needle. <laughs> yeah, little stuff like that. But he was, un- he was the best, okay? He had the record back in the day. And one day, this up and, young, up and coming youngster, Takonohana, beat him.、Mm. And at that, that's when Chiyono Fuji very gracefully said, My time has、mm. come. I'm going to retire. It was, was cool. cool.、Mm. So Takonohana beat Chiyono Fuji, and Chiyono Fuji very gracefully retired.、Mm-hmm. And Kibi said it was. So, Takano Hana went on to become an Oyakata or、uh, he, to own his own or be the master of his own stable. And、um, Takano Hana represents old fashioned Japan, right? Small d o 
Sumodo. Oh, yes. So something interesting that I did not know this word before, but there's something called sumodo, which is a little bit like kado. Okay, let me let me give you some words. Okay, kado, which is flower flower uh, ceremony, mm. right? That's kado. Mm. There's uh, shodo, sado, sado, shodo, shodo, which is calligraphy, sado, which is tea ceremony, and sumodo, which is the path. Oh, of course, you know judo, mm -hmm. judo, which is you know judo, <laughs> judo. <laughs> so do at the end, the do at the end means the way. The way mm. of something. So that's why you hear sometimes you hear you know, the way of the whatever, right? Mm. So the way of sumo basically means there is a certain way you have to behave mm. if you are sumo, um, sumo rikishi or wrestler. Rikishi and one of those, you need hinkaku, which is in English. Come on! <laughs> dignity! A dignity! Dignity! Is this thing recording? Make sure this is recording. Dignity, yes. I'm just checking the camera here. Okay. Dignity. We need dignity. And uh, people have claimed that Hakuho has no dignity. And why? One reason. Kibi brought this to my attention. So, actually, can you guys? I guess I can see. We'll do full screen. Okay. So, uh, what was it? On the 11th day? No, no. Yeah, the 11th day, I believe, of the Kyushu Basho. Mm. Yes. Uh, what's his name? Hakuho had a bout with this guy. We don't know who that guy is. It doesn't matter. That's not the point. But there was um well let me show you the let me show you the actual bout. Let's show, we can show the bout, okay? Okay. Oh yes, yes, so, so this is um this is something interesting. So here's the actual bout. You're gonna see the back bout, ready? Ready? Here's the actual bouts. They're starting out here, we don't need the sound. And this is, what is this called? Tachi eye? Tachi eye. This is the Tachi eye, and sometimes they'll do like three of these, and it's kind of build suspense. But basically, their their fists have to match Hakyo. up, and they both have to, there has to be some kind of like, uh, what? Hakyo. Ready, Ready set, go. go. They have to agree that the timing is right. And the judge, what is this called? Shinpan? Mm -hmm. What's it called? Uh, what do they call the judge? Uh, the judge, we don't remember. <laughs> anyway, the referee, what, what, the guy in the middle, he he will decide if it's ready. Shimpan, that's what I said. Oh. <laughs> okay, so watch this. They, and he puts his hand out and he goes, right? Now, if you watch this really slowly, we'll do this. Hold on, ready? Ready? And boom, right there. Notice Hakuho's left hand slaps him in the face, right? Bita. It's a minor face. I'll give you a link to the description so you can see. And that's at five minutes and four seconds. Okay? So this and is good. So this means that Hakuho is accepting that it's a clean start. Clean. It's clean. There's nothing wrong with it. But look how look how quickly it ended, ends, which is amazing for a Yokozuna. Right, right. So there it is, and it's over in six seconds. Less than that. It's over like almost immediately, right? <laughs> and everyone's just like amazed. Because this never happens. He's uh, Yokozuna gets beat, especially someone like this. Because this guy never gets beat, right? And look, look at this. Oh, wait. Nobody ever raises their hand at the end of a match or a bout and says, uh, "Excuse me." Especially Yokozuna. Especially Yokozuna, and that's the point. That's why they think he doesn't have hinkaku. Hinkaku. <laughs> dignity. <laughs> dignity. Write dignity in the goddamn comments for so that, you can remember. <laughs> dignity. <laughs> dignity, okay? Goddamn. Because never in the history of sumo has anyone questioned the referee so, so like that. Right? So, I, I, yeah, and and this, this cannot be, this should not be. This is not something that you do. Ikemasen, they also say. And he's sitting, and it's like this This scene here takes like two minutes. He said, I've never seen this. Yeah, yeah, you know, I've never seen this before. And the guys over here, in the, in you, which you can see in the black, you can see if you click on the video yourself, you want to see this for sure uh, in detail. But the guys in the back, by the way, almost the entire audience is like people over 60. <laughs> but these guys in the black um, kimonos in the back, one of them there, and this is the last match, right? Like he's arguing with him. He's like, hey, he, this is not a clean start, mm. right? And he's looking at him. And then watch this over here. Oh. They're all confused. Like everyone's like, what? Huh? What are we doing? Huh? Okay. okay, now we're gonna time out for a second. <laughs> Kiwi found out recently. What is this for? Katana. That's a that's a short blade, a short sword. So, So basically, he's um he's a referee. He takes his job seriously to the point that if he 
makes a mistake, he is ready to take his own life and commit harakiri or seppuku. Seppuku, seppuku. Right? By cutting open his stomach. And that's why he carries around the sword. That, that's just a symbol, though, of his, of his uh, seriousness. That's sumodo. So you have to respect someone who's willing to kill himself if he, if he screws up and makes a mistake. Right? That's just an interesting side note. It's not real? <laughs> How do you know? It might be. <laughs> well, I don't know. We don't know that. We don't know if it's real. We'll find out. I think it's real. Okay. By the way, let me just back up just a little bit just to point out something funny. Look at this. All these guys are old. These are, these are in their 50s, uh, maybe 60s, old, easily. Yeah, Everyone's old. Young, yeah, young. Yeah. Really? I don't know. It, Japanese are weird. Like, even if they have black hair, you can't tell their age. They could be young, they could be old. Young. Anyway, uh, now check this out here. The guy, he's still, he's still pissed off. There's always a bunch of hotties at these things too, like hot, hot girls too, like over here. <laughs> no point. See this guy here? This guy right be, behind the judge on the right, he, he uses... Shinpan Incho. Shinpan Incho. Incho. So he's the... Commissioner. Commissioner? Mm -hmm. Okay. He's a, is that Kitamura? Chikara Difficult? Okay. Anyway. He's going to show it, use his hand in a minute. See? He's going, get on. Get on the stage. On the dohyo, mm -hmm. right? Get on, to, get on the ring. And he finally agrees and gets on. But even now, he's just like, no, man, this is not cool. Right? And look at the head. The head. The, this is this body um, language. Body language. Body language is Dame. very bad. <laughs> Dame, very bad. Ha. And this is not the way sumo wrestlers are supposed to behave. You too. Me too. What do you mean, me too? I'm not the way I Dame. But I'm, I'm not doing this. <laughs> so this kind of like... So even, and the one thing about sumo wrestlers is they're not supposed to show emotion, right? Even when you win, yeah, yeah. And there have been cases like with sumo wrestlers, like Akimono and stuff, when they show too much joy, and people are like, "Hey, you shouldn't be so happy." Yeah, you get, you get, you get angry with you, right? Yeah, and if you do that, it's like, "Eh, well, he's a gaijin. What do you expect, right? He doesn't know how to behave properly, right?" Here's, here's very pretty good. Okay. So really, he's supposed to leave. So oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Next yeah. Match, um, yeah. This is the end of the match. So this is the ending ceremony. And he should, he should leave the, he should leave the door. Like this guy. See, the winner's left, but the loser is still up there, which is weird. This has never happened. Now watch him. Watch him as he leaves. Look. look at that. See, shaking his head like that. Okay. So that's one thing. That's one thing. Dignity. Okay, dignity. <laughs> okay. Now that's one thing that's important. Now another important point is on the last day, uh, Hakuho um, made history so. by winning his 40th tournament mm. and just doing a kick-ass job. Ma, you show that para omedetto. Yeah. So usually, and they, and they have a they have a a what, award ceremony, mm, so right? So. Where they give him a big cup. The cup is huge. <laughs> like you could basically put a small Japanese person in there. It's so big. Right? I couldn't pick it up. You think? No. Really? It's that heavy? I'm gonna pick it up. I'm pretty strong. Okay, anyway, it's pretty it's huge, okay? And you gotta be strong to pick it up. It's a huge thing. Okay. I'm curious about that. We're gonna look into that, and if I find the weights, I'm gonna pick it up, okay? <laughs> anyway, so at this closing ceremony, you can find a longer uh, ex example of this, but. Oh, let's see, see, look at that, so tight. Um, yeah, but we don't need that. Uh, do we, oh, okay, so here's something that never happens. Back up. Uh, Hakuho is the one that told Haruma Fuji about Takano Iwa's bad mouthing him in Tokyo, mm. and which probably pissed off Haruma Fuji and caused him to beat the shit out of Takoni, Takono Iwa mm. at the karaoke bar mm. much later. Mm. So, Kibi theorizes mm. that Hakuho feels responsible. Maybe. Maybe. Um, for this, because be preceding this, uh, this what he's about to do right now, he said, I hope that Haruma Fuji and Takono Iwa can come back to the ring someday. So. Right? I'm hoping. And thank you know, he's saying thanks everybody, blah, blah, blah. And then he does something that's, again, never been done before. What does he do? Banzai. Banzai. So he asks the audience, mm. right? Everybody, mm. Let's, mm. let's everybody, let's do Banzai together, right? Which is weird for a few reasons. One of them is because of the scandal that's just broken. Mm. Number two is because he's asking them to do it. Mm. And usually people do it by themselves. Mm. Or somebody else says, hey, let's all do it. But not, mm. not usually the guy they're having the award ceremony for. Right, so it's kind of weird. And if you can read comments of, comments about it, about him not being able to feel the uh, the energy of the room. How, however, to be fair, you got to admit when he does it, everybody cheers. Mm. 
So everybody in the auditorium is with him. Mm -hmm. But from an outside perspective, it just seems, mm -hmm. well, lacking dignity, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So here's the actual scene. So the so thanks everybody, and we're going to do bonsai together now. But, by the way, the most useful words if you learn Japanese, Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. They don't have anything in English. But it's just super useful, just say it for everything. So, just all the time, just order coffee, Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Yes, when you write an email or something, very useful, okay? And, and he says, uh, he says that, and then he says, right? And you see that those that woman there holding the cards right there? Where is she? Right? Hakuho. It says Hakuho Victory. 40. 40. Oh, okay. Exactly. There it is. Hakuho Victory 40. 40th Victory. I guess that's for, for, for Victory. Right? Um, yeah, so that was weird. And the Sumo Association, again, got on his back because of that. Mm. They said, that's not polite, that's not the way you're supposed to do things. Mm. Right? Mm. He did apologize for, for, for the judge. Mm. For, for... Oh, right. But he won't apologize for this. Mm. Okay. Mm. So he's being looked down upon, and, and, but a lot of people say uh, that this is not the way Sumo wrestlers are supposed to behave. And Takano Hana, mm. who represents a traditional Sumo wrestler, mm. right, mm. and is now the Oyakata, the so, stable so. master, mm. he has pretty much kept silent on this whole thing. Yeah. So a proper sumo yokozuna should have just said thank you mm, and said so, nothing. So, so. And not said, hey everybody, yay, you know, but but there's another there's another point, jealousy. Because many, many uh, just recently, in the last couple of years, a Japanese a sumo wrestler has finally emerged. What was his name? Kino Kiseno Sato? Mm. Kiseno Sato, which I did a video on, uh, he became a Japanese sumo wrestler. I mean, uh, Yokozuna, sorry. He acquired the, the position of Yokozuna. Mm -hmm. Yes, and he is one of the few. Mm -hmm. And it was the first time in 10 years, mm -hmm. I think, so, so, that, a sumo, that a Japanese sumo wrestler mm -hmm. had attained the level of Yokozuna. Mm -hmm. So it was a big deal. And everybody went crazy, like, oh my, they went crazy. People were like, oh my God, yeah. And they were so happy because they're all racist, right? <laughs> no, because they're happy, one of their own. So they're so right? they Of course, you know. This is a Japanese sport, yeah. So it just it was kind of embarrassing that Japanese that Japan did not have their own yokozuna for, so, so, for so, so long. So, so, so. so when Kiseno Sato finally became yokozuna, everyone was really really happy, so, so. and Hakuho felt a little bit sad because so. I guess Hakuho really does like Japan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so maybe, maybe we can assume that he really does love Japan. He loves the sport. He does seem to love the sport. Um, and he just felt a little hurt. So you know when this fortieth. 40th victory came, mm. right? Nobody would, so nobody was like, hey, because it's, it's a historic event. And he just felt like, well, you know, I'm just going to take it upon me too. Right? Mm. And the other criticism that Hakufa has, according to Kibi, is that Mongolians are thought to be more interested in winning, mm -hmm. right? So, mm -hmm. Winning is the most important thing. In, in the sumo world, rather more important than that is dignity. So more important than just winning is dignity. <laughs> I think, I think you finally remember the words. So that's the point. That's the point. Um, they found it undignified. To, to do it. And when you lose, you just shut up and accept the accept the judge, especially if you're local zuna. Especially, accept the judge's uh, decision. So. Never, never do what he did. Right? Um, learn how to lose gracefully. According to Takanohana, whenever you're walking down the street, you should always act properly. Right? Always be a good. And one, the other thing, he he even didn't he didn't even like uh, sumo wrestlers hanging out together because because uh, there was a I think in 2012 there was a big scandal with the Yaocho, which is fixed matches, 
And if you see sumo wrestlers hanging out and having fun together, you it's not you know far fetched to assume that they're that they would be capable of yaucho or fixing matches, right? Because if they're friends, like we're hanging out and having drinks, and I need your help. Right? Yeah. So next time, because in the sumo world, if you lose more matches than you win in a certain tournament, you're demoted, and the money changes. It's amazing. So it's important to keep your wins. Uh, more than your losses at every, at every uh, tournament. And so that's one reason that um, Yalcho has happened in the past. Right. So it's pretty interesting. interesting yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that's our video. Thank you very much, Kibi. Shake my hand, please. Thank you. Yes! I think it's Yalcho. Yalcho. <laughs> We're going to fix up future matches for some of what you're not talking about. But anyway, that's our video. If you like the video, please uh, do um, give us a thumbs up and a comment, right? Right. Uh, tell us what you think. If you think it's racist or not, or just a mis or just a new generation, or whatever, whatever you think, or if you have any insight into this. Deep, deep. Yeah. Again, we are not sumo experts at all. The biggest sumo expert on on uh, YouTube is Jason, Jason. Uh, which I will link in the description. Well, I tried to get Jason on the channel a few weeks ago, but when this was happening, we were both too busy. We, we couldn't get on. Um. You know, he's a, he's a great guy. Anyway, anyway, um, check him in the description. If you'd like to uh, support the channel, there are ways to do that in the description as well. We do support, we do appreciate all your support. Thank you, thank you for watching, and we'll see you again in a, in a near nearby video in the near future. Right? Hopefully, okay. we can be, but maybe not. All right. <laughs> bye bye. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. Bye bye. Yeah bye.